Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of Industry Insider. I'm your host, Allison Rogers. This week, we sat down with Tim Morgan, the Chief Operating Officer of Spinezi Americas, to learn more about the company's comprehensive virtual tour of its U.S. training center. With six rooms and Spinezi's 360 product suite to explore, the virtual tour experience is an absolute must-see at the SEMA 360 virtual show beginning Monday, November 2nd. Thank you so much for joining us today, Tim. We're thrilled to have you here. We'll really miss seeing the Grand Spinezi booth in person this year at SEMA, but the virtual tour that your team has created is uh, quite impressive. Could you tell us more about Spinezi's goal in attending SEMA? In a typical SEMA year, why does Spinezi choose to attend SEMA? What's the goal in being at the show? Well, you know, in the past, SEMA has always been a, obviously a hands-on show. It's a lot of work. I've been, I've been watching uh, the calendar uh, count down the days and, and, and past memories on my Facebook in the morning of already there being able to set up uh, the large booth that we put together with all of our products, you know, showing the whole 360 line and then not going to be able to be there on the show floor. It leaves us a disconnect, not from just potential customers or someone that would be coming in uh, to see us new, but all our existing customers. When we're there at the show, I know myself and, and my staff work we're 24 seven trying to be able to interact with people and all the other events that are going on in the industry at the same time. It's an empty void this year, I guess you'd say. With SEMA being a virtual event this year, your team has created a virtual tour of its U.S. training center, complete with Spinezi's product offerings and the entire U.S. training center. So why do you feel it was so important to create this tool for your customers and the overall industry at a time like this? Well, one of the things that I said early on to my group was we're going to have to change up how we go to business. Uh, a lot of people are not going to want to leave their home or even if you think of the borders between U.S. and Canada, it's a problem. So we had to think outside the box of how could we get to people and not just during a certain time of day, but how can we get to people 24-7 that they can be able to go in interact, see what we have. And it's also helped us, I have to say, with, you know, how marketplaces are, you have some competition because we're somewhat the new kids on the block, even though we've been here full time for eight years and have been selling in the U.S. and Canada for more than 20 years to show that, yes, we do have a, a very good size facility. And yes, we do have stock in that facility. One of the things that I hear is, well, you know, you're the new person on the block and, you know, we don't know, you know, if you really, how you really exist. So I guess you could say we're not working from a basement. No, you guys are definitely not working from a basement. I mean, the tour makes that pretty clear. Uh, so there are six rooms available to browse in the virtual tour, featuring a host of 360 products from Spinezi. Yes, actually, right even from the classroom or when you walk in the door. When you walk in the door, there's interactive uh, video on the walls through television. It's all kinds of little... Uh, I'll call them Easter eggs, I guess that's what you call them, that, that, you, that you can click on throughout, um, even in the classroom, shows you the classroom area, and then you can click through the, actually click through the windows right out into the shop or take a walk down. Well, you could go out and show yourself around, but we went one step further than that. You can chat right there with us directly, and we have people available. Um, obviously, when we're not sleeping, we're not available, and we're going to get back to you later, but um, we, you can actually even call into that and we can answer and we could walk you through what you're looking for. There's video throughout of the products, um, brochures, testimonials from, from other, you know, from our, our, our existing or previous customers. Put a lot of work into it and it changes daily because okay. we're, we're adding more and more as we're going along. It's been a big process day and night for our uh, our marketing department, um, Carl, has worked really hard putting it all together, and uh, we, I'm, I'm really, really proud to, uh, of what we did. And the funny thing is, as soon as we finished filming, what did we do? We took the whole training center apart again and are in the process of remodeling with new shop wall colors, new floor colors, and getting ready for 2021. So where should clients start? Are specific rooms dedicated to specific jobs and equipment or how should they navigate the tour? Well, I, I mean, the way it's set up is um, when you start, you start out into in the showroom floor or the training center floor uh, and you can see all the equipment there and you'll notice that there's little cameras on the equipment so that you can watch video. There's a little uh, 
information button that you can get a brochure. Um, you will see as you walk through certain areas, there's videos that will pop up uh, on a TV screen on a wall or um, um, on a piece of product itself. Um, you can walk through the curtain into the warehouse area. If you go up over behind the welders there, you'll see that the curtain has a little opening that you can walk through and get into the next uh, level, which is warehouse and down into the spray booths. So you can walk into the spray booth. And one of the unique features of the spray booth is when you click inside that, you're not in our booth. You're in one of our customers' booths. So you're actually seeing into their shop. We did that for Best Body Shop in Wichita, Kansas. That booth was built specially for him with the oversized windows on the side. He does a lot of video and they're every day on social media. So he wanted a wide open booth that he could film from the outside, film from the inside. So we built, uh, built him a pretty nice little um, booth there. And, you know, and the rest of the facility is also one of our three, uh, our Spinezy 360 projects. And you can actually go through even into the second warehouse, through the curtain into the second warehouse, and you'll be able to see, you know, that we, we stock a lot of equipment. We're, uh, okay. we, we normally have three to $5 million in inventory here at all times. Yeah. So when, when some people uh, uh, think that we're a foreign supplier and you know, it's gonna take a while to get something, no, it's here, it's ready to go. How will customers be able to get in contact with Spinezy at the SEMA show? Well, the other unique feature about the SEMA 360 is they have their own chat rooms. So all, our sales staff is going to be able to be online during their show hours to be able to chat with people um, and, you know, going through our, um, our Spin Easy 360 virtual tour, um, there's a chat button you can click on there. And like I said, you actually could even go live and, and one of us could answer your live and it's just like we're on FaceTime and we walk you through, uh, you know, through a tour together. Um, and soon there's soon to be, if there's not already, uh, we're going to have some tours that are already preset that you can just click and take a, a tour that someone else had. So kind of like a guided tour. Yeah. sounds like you and the team are uh, super prepared for any upcoming trade shows with this tool here. Uh, how can this tool help your customers navigate the future? I think people really need to look at now is the time to be doing some expanding thing that we see though is car count is down there's not you know you don't have as much traffic as you, as you used to but the traffic is starting to increase so the accidents are going to happen again and again um, the technology is still changing in the industry and not that it's always just changing um, some people missed a couple of those changes and are going to have to catch up I mean if you look at if, if you look out in western Canada um, where in Saskatchewan, the, they all have to have welding now. And yeah, they're, all being, yep, they're all being forced to update their welding equipment or their measuring equipment. And there's, you know, there's some people out there that have not kept up with those type of times. And as this, these vehicles become more complex, um, you're gonna have to have the right equipment to be able to repair it. Otherwise you're not gonna be around. Yeah, exactly. It really is a perfect time to invest in these tools. Is there anything else your customers should know about Spinezy's virtual tour and the product offerings before SEMA 360 officially kicks off on Monday? Just that uh, we, you know, we, we want everyone to know that we're here for them. Um, it's not just a product we sell. It's our services. It's our training. It's uh, design implementation, you know, and, and, and coaching them along in their business to be able to to move to the next level. Thank you so much for chatting with us today, Tim. And to all our listeners, make sure you check out Spinezy's virtual tour and the company's SEMA 360 booth once the event begins on Monday. You won't want to miss what they have in store. And also make sure to subscribe to Industry Insider on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud, and Google Play Music for new episodes.